So, yeah, candy. Candy is a very important thing to me. I don't know why that is exactly, though. Um, I'm not sure what the traumatic experience was, because if I remember rightly, I always got whatever candy I wanted, and that was that. I, I, I really don't know what the traumatic experience was, but... Amendation, amendation. Um, yes, so it's a bit of a long shot, but I think I figured out what the trauma, if we want to stick to the whole trauma theme, trauma creates, instigates change, habits, something like that. If we want to go with that structure, then I think I may have come across what the trauma could possibly be. Now, it is a bit of a long shot, but the trauma in question might be when I had this penny gumball machine, like it was probably only the size of my hand, about carried about 50, 60, 75 gumballs, maybe max. Um, really tiny ones, not like, solid, um, big gumball or anything. It's very tiny gumballs. Um, and so I'm being attacked by a cat. And so I had that and it fell and it was made of plastic so it popped apart, gumballs spread all over the floor and we're taught as children to not eat anything off the floor so it was like a... I mean, and I think that is a form of like sort of Doctor Who um, logic here. I think that might be my saddest memory. <laughs> to be honest, even though I barely remember it. So, yeah, if we're going to stick with that standard, I think that is... <laughs> I think that is the traumatic event. It's over there. I'm over here. I'm over here, though. I'm looking at me, because I look pretty freaking cool when you straighten my tie. Just as an example, um... Right now I'm eating this um, peanut butter egg sandwich. Might be in free here. I don't know. I'll probably have at some point. Anyways, point is, right now it's just some brown shell thing came out of this box so I see good solid candy rich people candy um but yes yeah, so I was eating that and um 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 sticks to your tongue anyways so I was <laughs> I was eating that and I, I'm de-shelling it it's like pulling the chocolate off so that we don't have any of that peanut butter crap and it made me think um why am I so against this peanut butter crap it's a good peanut butter. It's not a bad peanut butter. It's a very sugary peanut butter. Shoulder feels funny. It's a very sugary peanut butter. It's a very good peanut butter. Also, I'm pajamaed, so that's why I, have, I don't usually walk around a Superman. I walk around with something much more stupid. Maybe horses usually a lot. I don't know. Right, so it's a good peanut butter. Very solid, very smooth peanut butter. I don't really like... um that thin peanut butter. I have an example of peanut butter that is not good. There's a bit of a roller coaster there. This is a not a peanut butter. Creamy. Creamy is not a good thing. Creamy is in fact a bad thing used to punish bad children. So, no creamy. I, I, I don't like it creamy. Also, sort of describes my sex life. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. Anyways, well, yes. So it was very interesting that Cameras? Candy. There you go. That's what I was talking about. What cameras? I guess some people start with California. What did you lag out on me? You lagged out on me. What is wrong with you? Alright, but yes. So candy, yes. I don't know what the traumatic experience was. Um, so who's de-shelling it and grabbing all that? And it made me think about what I've got for candy. So, I've got, I've got four drawers in this dresser. Closed, closed. Uh, no, top drawers actually not closed. The center two drawers are closed. The top drawer is tech stuff and stuff that I like. I don't know. This drawer. Whoa. Check that freaking stash, man. I mean, keep sorry. So let's see, how many of those do I have? I've got some purple, some yellows. I just got some eggs. I got some oversized rabbit. Some sour watermelon. Waiting to try those out. I've got a box of hearts. It feels like I've eaten about half of them currently. I've got chocolate eggs. Lots of seeds candy. candy. Um, I just spilled a bunch of golden balls from my <laughs> neck. i got sour bunnies from... I don't think these were from today. Being Easter. Or was it yesterday? I don't know. I don't think they were from whatever day that was, though. It's just mildly concerning. <laughs> The uncandy hoard that tells you over a year old. Um, sour hearts. Now I know these weren't from today because I just pulled out some from today. And we've got milk chocolate hearts. Oh, little chocolate Hannah. 
Okay, now this is getting into stuff that I won't eat because it's got some no value. Toys and Anna or whatever. It's, uh, um, a teacher can do this to me. I've got two freaking goblets. Not sure why. Uh, they are Lord of the Rings. So if anyone wants a Aragorn, I believe is his name, and a Legolas Lord of the Rings, I believe special edition. Fellowship of the Ring, goblet things. They're real glass. Oh my god, I guess if you want to hit me up. Um, bacon chocolate. What we got? What we got? What we got? We got? This is a yogurt lollipop. Interesting. A bunny. More chocolate balls from Christmas. These are from the same Christmas, I swear. I don't have one that is two years old. Okay, now these ones are a year old. Those are kisses. Um, kisses? Not kisses. Uh, not chocolate heart. Kisses are little weird kiss things. I've got these Santa Claus. And you lagged again. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, so this tablet won't be going back in. I can guarantee that, because you're doing the lagging thing again and again and again and again. Oh, I've got year daily Christmas edition stuff. That's exciting. A whole box to have two in it. Maybe even one. Um, and I've got two more of those. Ooh, one of them is bark, I believe. That's from bark. That's interesting. Ooh, a fan of bark still. Uh, beef jerky milk chocolate. Okay. Two more mini Santas. I've got four of these chocolate oranges. I love chocolate oranges. So if you're a hot girl, and you want a hot guy. Um, anyway. Back into stuff that I won't eat. Got it from the teacher that I like so much. Um, I got another one from that teacher. I got another one from that teacher. <laughs> Dude, you know, um, I had a whole slew of Slurpee cups. Um, armadillo egg sours. Not sure what those are. I'm sure I'll eat them at some point in the series. I've got lots of plastic bags just to keep candy, which I don't eat too anyway. Um, oh, I got another Ghirardelli. Holiday mix of Skittles. I only have the odd. There is like a whole package. Well, I mean, there's like probably 20 of them. 20 packages from assorted flavors from Taco Bell. Because these things straight, I like eating these things straight. Mild has the best flavor. Second place would have to go to the, um, the hottest one, whatever that is. And the hot is kind of like, it tastes like peppers. I don't really like peppers, like straight peppers. It's not really my thing. Right. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, I missed something. In with those, apparently, I have two honey sticks. I've never had honey sticks. These things are awesome. They're like straight shots of sugar. The only problem is getting the honey out, because you have to clip both ends and suck really hard. Then I have a chocolate cigar. Not the lightable variety, sadly. Age tall and higher. I probably got this backwards, don't I? I don't know which end gets chewed on. Yeah, I got the right way. Yeah, you can all listen. Yeah. See, I have a really strange collection of candy. Uh, I don't know, I'm just feeling hyper on the shelf my candy collection. That's his marketing. Right, so like I was saying about the, um, oh, there's a piece of paper there, about, 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 about the candy drawer or whatever, um, that's a very strange thing in there as well. Like, I collected Slurpee cups for a while, which is very strange. Oh, right, I have the goblets as well. Um, but yeah, I collected Slurpee cups, so I've got the strangest freaking collection of Slurpee cups. Like, I've got this, um, Summer Slam, I don't know, is that, is that a wrestling thing? And... These are all holographic. There's only one that's not holographic. But it's got some John Kenna, whoever that is, and he's probably famous. I don't know. And then, 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 then I've got um, 
Thor. However, it looks more like Cyclops, because there's lasers shooting out of his eyes. That's holographic. And these are, of course, the bigger size. Ah, here's, here's one that's actually sort of good, Cowboys vs. Aliens. Oh, look at that freaking glare across the holographic thing. It's got this very peculiar texture that holographic ones do. Um, these are the something size. Let's see. Um, satisfaction guaranteed size. So yeah, the, the 2011 satisfaction guaranteed size. But yeah, these are the one size up from the, I believe these are 16 ounce ones. Let's just stack these upside down. Uh, what do we got here? We got um, some sort of football people. Uh, 650 milliliters for this one. Um, yeah, there's uh, Madden XX20. Oh, that sounds boring. Let go. <laughs> uh, we have also um, GI Joe. Well, like GI Jane, but okay. What else we got? We have got the exact same cup. Interesting. Now I believe, if I'm right, we're getting into good stuff now. Uh, now we got one more DHO. So that's, that's a cool looking guy. He's got a sword thing on that side. He's got a... That's cool. Um, what do we got here? Transformer. This one's a bit dark, harder to see. Same size. Normal slippery size. Ah, the one that is not holographic. It's a squishy, yeah? Which means, hey. <laughs> All right, now we're in the stuff that's actually good. What have we freaking got here? Oh, no. Sabretooth from X-Men Wolverine. Dude, this movie is like the greatest love story ever. X-Men Wolverine, just saying. Um, and then, okay, correction. X-Men Wolverine is not the greatest love story ever. Sorry, I was thinking about this movie. Um, I know they're not related at all, but I knew I had these two here, and one is the greatest love movie ever. Um, this one, actually, second greatest. TLS is the greatest love movie ever. Um, but yeah, this one, freaking Terminator Salvation between a robot and a girl. I mean, come on. Just gonna... And we'll, and then we'll look at some other strange stuff. I've got freaking One Night Hairspray, blue and purple. And like I said before, for whatever reason, I've got blood. I have no idea why I've got blood. I'm thinking Halloween Project or something. I don't know. Can you focus on the blood? There you go. There we go. That's Ruby's blood, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully that'll be starting up soon. Ruby, the rooster shooting thing. But yeah, I have these two because um, I went to a convention and I was cosplaying as um, the purple people. What are they? Um, Shadow Bolts. Yeah. Of course, nerd stuff. Um, but yeah, I was cosplaying as them. And one of them, anyway. All three. But I guess they are all one. Hmm. But anyways, yeah, I was cosplaying as them and I was thinking, eh, I'll use these, but then I didn't. So, yeah. So that's my life. In a drawer. Bye -bye.